Good afternoon, it's David GPSN or on YouTube Bearded Prepper UK Survival. Well, I'm out in the woods today because I'm always out and about when I can. Um, with my boy Ewan today, um, we're just having a stroll. I'm going to be covering how to make a fire quickly. This is not rubbing sticks together because I'm not a bushcrafter. This is like a survival, very quick, how to make a fire and also like to set up a little basic perimeter line. Okay, so stick around and we'll have a quick look. Hope you enjoy it. So uh, look at that. Beautiful, it's hammering down with rain as you saw with the little fire making thing. It's my boy just walking past. Just, um, yeah, just like five hours out in the woods. It clears the air, clears your head. There you go, beautiful. See some little leaves. There you go, just gonna go around to the end of that and back. Right, hello, it's soaking wet here. I mean, literally soaking wet. So we're gonna go in this uh, little shelter here and I'm gonna try and get a fire. The ground's soaked and everything, but like, just to show you how I'll do it. Okay. Right, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the fire making equipment, okay? So what we're going to do first of all is as you can see here can you see that we've got some shavings which i'm going to get some more and put them there okay so just literally this wood's a bit damp so we're going to do that not so much making it like um like a feather stick but literally taking the uh shavings off because this is going to be good tinder with the stuff okay really thin you know what i mean nothing special Okay, pick them up, all in there. Okay, so as you see, I've got a handful of these shavings. So I'm gonna do a few more of them, okay? And then uh, we'll show you the next stage, okay? Filter that's been built. Okay, we've got leaves everywhere, like here. So we're gonna clear a little area. This floor is obviously damp. I mean, this is just basic. I mean, I, people do it different, but I do it this way. Right, so we get some kind of dry wood. This is hardwood down on the base of it. So we can hopefully have some sort of uh, shield from the uh, the uh, cold, wet ground. Right, okay, the sticks around it. We did our shavings earlier, okay? Did our shavings earlier. And we got some of that on here. And I've also got some of this. This is my favorite. This is my... Uh, uh, tumble dryer fluff. So we're going to put some of that on there. I also my fire kit because I'm not going to rub two sticks together because I'm not insane. Right, so we're going to do that. So in my fire stick, my fire kit. What I've got is I have, as you know, which is what we all have, cotton wool ball, bit of Vaseline. Okay, just around there. Fine. Just get that in the middle because that will ignite eventually, okay? But the actual thing that I want to ignite is the dishwasher plug, okay? So, have my uh, bend and steel, okay? But uh, I'm gonna use my knife, carbon knife, to do this, okay? And hopefully we can get some sort of flame. Uh, we also have some dry leaves around here that we can chuck on, okay? Oh, so it's flying out, so we can put them on in a minute. We've got a couple of uh, dry sticks here, and we'll just have a look, see what we can do, okay? So. Okay, right, so that's up very quickly, okay? So there's your fire, okay? Right, so we can add to that. I'm not going to make it any bigger at the moment, but so we're going to cut that there, okay? This is a quick little experiment I'm going to try, setting up a little perimeter line. When I go out on uh, wild camps and stuff, I do this all the way around. And luckily, my boy has just found a couple of like little bells, so I'm going to give this a try. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, for instance, that we're camped here. And this is our camp area. Okay. Put it down here. So I want at least five minutes notice, or a couple of minutes notice. What we're going to do is we're going to tie this to a tray. This is just your 550 paracord. Okay, but you want it. 
tie it so someone's not going to see it. Remember, it's going to be pitch black. Okay, so we want this tied up here. Okay, so I'm just going to tie this off here. As long as it's tight, all good. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pull this all the way around. Okay, let's do it kind of like that. A low height. Right, and then we're going to put, you can use old cans, anything on here, okay? It's going to give you a little warning system. We found, uh, my boys found a pair of bells, which is perfect for it. It's so noisy. Okay, right. So again, we want this down at a low height, okay? So, tie this off. Again. Okay, so we'll come in and we'll have a look at that. So literally in the dark, in the dark, you're not going to see that at all, okay? So hopefully, my little experiment, we'll move that kind of there, okay? So that's going to cordon off that whole corner. So anyone walking through that corner is going to go. Right, so let's have a look over here. So hopefully we should hear the bells. Oh, yeah. You heard the bells. And that's at my foot level, that actually. Hot. Okay. And if we're coming through here, okay, again. All right, so that's going to give us the warning that we need up at me. Uh, that's going to give us the warning that we need. Okay, so simple. Right, so we got this paracord tied off one area. I mean, you can do this all the way around, but you want it at least a couple of minutes away from where you're doing it. Okay, so that is it for that. Hope you enjoyed that. Speak soon.